Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Friends, welcome back to my channel In this session we will discuss this thermal fuse What is thermal fuse? Why we use it? What are its specifications? Then how we can install? Let's start When we see any electrical, electronic equipment For safety purpose We use fuses Normally the fuse is used to protect from overcurrent to limit the current for protection purpose. For example, any equipment that is working at we can say 10 ampere, 10 ampere current to 10 into 150 percent we can say it will 15 ampere. So this will limit the current and it will protect the current when the maximum operating current is 10 ampere so the fuse will be selected for 15 ampere and at 15 ampere this circuit the next circuit will protect it that is the extreme limit before damage when we discuss some HVAC equipment some heating equipment like we have iron to press the cloths a room heater that is electric room heater blower hair dryers like that these items are involved in heating with electricity we know if the heat is uncontrolled the heater will keep heating up and at a specific limit it may destroy it may damage because if we discuss iron iron have a plastic body if we say room heater most of the room heaters are in plastic body if we see hair dryer hair dryer is also in plastic body so inside these machines appliances there is a current limiting fuse to limit the current and there is a special fuse that is thermal fuse that is always installed inside the body inside the appliance and it is the more closer or it is installed on the heating body the outer side it is plastic body inside this housing there is a some heating component some heating element some anything which will generate heat some resistors like that are most of the time these are used to sense the temperature of the switching devices so it will operate with current and temperature because it is used to protect the device from a specific temperature at specific ampere if we see its structure it have two leads lead A and lead B lead B that is solid it is solid and lead A size it is epoxy filled these fuses are wire based when the current will increase this wire will burn out at its melting point so it will need a specific amount of current to dissipate power to heat up, heat up this wire there are slow blow fuse bus fuses fast blow fuses but this fuse have different category it does not have a wire it have a thermal pellet inside then it have discs and then there is a spring and then it have a contact which is connected to other side normally it is passing the current it have 280 degree centigrade 250 volt 10 ampere it will activate any one condition come first if the temperature will increase then its rated value its thermal pellet will diffuse and it will give a place to retrieve back the spring when spring will retrieve return back then it will make a gap automatically between this star connection before this it was passing the current through this thermal pellet through this spring to the contact sliding contact and the outside but now when this material this thermal pellet will diffuse it will pull back the spring when the spring is away it will make a space between the contact and the disc 
so the circuit will open if the rated current is achieved that is 10 ampere 10 ampere 250 volt it will heat up and it will blow away or if the temperature is within limit but the thermostat that is not controlling or the any control item which is used to to limit the temperature that is not working in that condition for second year of safety this will burn out its few its thermal pellet will damage it will diffuse and it will open the electrical circuits so it have different type of marking the first of all it is ry that is the name of brand the first thing here this is ry it is brand then tf functioning temperature there are two type of temperatures th but it is tf functioning temperature 280 degree centigrade then there is a voltage rating and current rating these information are available on the body from this ry 10 ampere series if we see the data sheet it will give the complete information about the fuse different dimensions are here it is small in size and it is one time used when it will burn out because it is second layer of safety in the first layer maybe we will find a fuse in the outer body but this is installed inside the unit near the heating element so if it is open the assembly will turn off it will disconnect all the electrical current so the assembly will not heat up if it is used in iron if it is used in hair dryer maybe sometime the fan will work but it will not generate the heat so basic reason will this thermal fuse if you go to data sheet it have sf 70 e so that means it is 70 degree temperature operated from 70 plus minus 2 to 73 degree it is functioning temperature friends i hope so this video is good for you if it is good hit the like button please if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it then different part numbers are here sf 76 e that means it is 76 degree if it is sf 240 it will work at 237 to 240 degree it is operating temperature and it have current rating 15 15 ampere and 10 ampere so these categories are available in 10 ampere and 15 ampere at ac 250 volt rating in ry category we have ry 72 ry 139 if it is ry 72 that means it will work at 72 degree a rated functioning temperature ry 15 ry 169 so ry 169 it will operate at 169 so these have different temperature rating and here is current rating ry 10 ampere 250 volt 10 ampere 110 10 ampere if ry 250 it will operate at 250 degree centigrade ry 260 that will operate at 260 degree centigrade there are different brands of this fuse but the working phenomena is the same for everything for every fuse it is tf 66 s tf its functioning temperature it is 66 degree in any fuse the functioning temperature that is the most important if you want to replace the fuse there are some special cares to install the fuse as we know it is temperature sensitive if you want to solder it might be while connecting if we give a high temperature for example we use a soldering iron that have temperature 350 degree centigrade and we make soldering here this temperature the soldering iron temperature will damage this fuse why because it have a thermal pellet that this is very temperature sensitive in soldering might be while soldering it will diffuse when it will diffuse this fuse is damaged so this fuse will not work it is the best practice to use terminal lug thimble we have another option if you don't have terminal lug just only very carefully hold this lead from here and make a ring here install with some screw with washer or use some supplies and crimp it 
that is the best way to install this use and never twist like this because it have a epoxy here might be with some excessive force it will damage if the lead will move from inside although it is secure but in practical life when we try to move it might be this epoxy will damage and it will open from inside because it have a physical contact like this i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh